I chose IC because I understand people and international communications is all about people. Um, it's about knowing your audience and being able to connect with them in the best possible way. Um, and once you fall into it, you begin to love it and it's a brilliant place to work. I chose um, IC uh, um, career because, um, well, employees are everything. They make every organisation. Um, and if you don't look after them, then, you know, your business, your organisation isn't going to be as successful as it could be without them. So I chose IC because I was looking for a second career. I wanted something that combined my love for people and my experience in HR and marketing. I think if you really care about people and people's experience at work and you have a creative flair or you're really interested in that sort of thing as well, for me it really brings that combination of both of those. You get to influence um, people and the experience that people have in their workplace every day. I chose IC because it's all about people, it's all about putting people at the heart of what we do, um, enjoying, making it an enjoyable place to work. I chose uh, IC in telecoms because you've got a ready-made audience there and you can really get quick time reactions to the comms you're sending out and really grow with your audience and understand how your work affects them. I chose internal comms because I absolutely love it. So I didn't choose internal comms, it chose me. So I, I started in internal comms in 1998, I think, uh, when it was a really kind of like a fairly immature kind of function. And I started in the call centre internal comms role and it grew from there and I just grew to love it. Over the years, you know, like I've worked in lots of different types of internal comms roles, but now I'm, uh, I'm really passionate about social media and digital and I've been able to carve out a, a career, you know, very much in that space, which is really exciting because for me, that's where all of the disruption and the kind of the innovations coming from at the moment. I chose internal comms because I am so passionate about telling colleagues stories and making them feel really part of something special and the heart of our business. I chose IC because I love being around people. One of the great things about internal communication is you get to work with people from the CEO down to the front line. You get to know lots of the secrets, you get to know lots of the gossip. So I fully recommend a career in IC. I chose IC um, because I'd been working in marketing and PR for about 18 months. Um, and what I found with IC was that I was doing little bits of IC, which I was in those roles, uh, which you kind of experienced what you were doing. So you were getting the benefit and you were feeling the buzz of some of the um, activities you were doing. So you were actually, it was palpable that if you were launching something or sending something out or, you know, you were part of it. Whereas if it was more media and marketing, it was more sort of um, externally, you didn't get that same feeling. So um, it, that, that's what brings the buzz to me uh, nearly 20 years on. Hi, I'm Asra Farid, Senior Manager in the Culture, Engagement and Communications team at Liberty Global. So three things that I like about my job. Uh, number one is the human connection. I get to work with people across different disciplines. Uh, the second aspect is the storytelling, which is really empowering and fascinating. And finally, there is never a dull moment. The number one reason why internal communication is so vital to organizations is because we make people love their jobs uh, by connecting them to all the critical information that they need to be successful in their roles. Three reasons why you should consider a career in internal communications. One, because it's a noble profession. And if anything, COVID has really proven that. Um, internal comms teams have uh, helped employees stay connected, focused and anchored. Secondly, internal communications plays a really vital role in driving a company's culture and ethos. So we are really, really critical. We're also critical to the business in terms of increasing their productivity, bottom line, um, in other words, internal comms makes the world go round. So, what about the choice? Yeah. I chose IC because people deserve to feel valued, heard, connected at work, and we have the ability to make that happen.